Hey, I'm Sasiata, I'm a Pokemon ROM hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to add grass to any map in a Gen 4 Pokemon game. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Pokemon DS Map Studio. If you haven't used this before, that's okay. I have a link in the description with a video on how to get started with using the software and make your first map. But for now, if you already have it downloaded, we're going to go to File and say New Map. And so just hit Yes to the current map. Uh, I am going to be doing this for Heart Gold, so I'm going to click on Heart Gold, and we're going to look for the tile set that corresponds to whatever type of grass we want. And so I'm going to use the black and white one, uh, just because I think it looks the best, so I'm going to select the black and white, select the overworld, and hit finish. And you'll notice I have all of these tiles ready to go. Uh, I'm going to use this piece of grass here that looks greenish, not the other one that looks bluish. You can use either one, it doesn't really matter. And all you're going to do is just slap one piece of grass down in the middle. Uh, now if you have a bigger swatch of grass that you want to add, you can just drag the mouse around and make some more grass. And so if you hit the 3D viewer, you can just see I have a patch of grass. Okay, great. So normally in DS games you can't change a map, but you can add buildings to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually export this thing and we're going to insert it into the game as a building. First thing we're going to do is save this map. So let's go to map save. So I'm going to make this saved in my grass tutorial folder. I'm just going to call it grass building and hit save. And so now it's time to export all the maps. And so in this case, we just have one map. I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to take this grass building uh, map and I'm going to hit OK again. I'm going to export the IMD file and then I'm going to select include NSBTX and SBMD. And I'm going to export this as an NSBMD file, which is the actual type of file that the DS can read. So this is the thing here that we're going to be adding into the DS. All right. And so now it's going to ask for an NSBTX. Um, so I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to do this separately. Okay, so now we need to actually insert it into the game. So there's a couple steps to this, so please pay close attention. The first thing we're going to want to do is open our building editor up here and go find the game that we want to insert it to. Before we can insert this into the ROM, we need to unpack the ROM using DSPRE. So I'm going to go open DSPRE. If you haven't use this application before, that's fine. I have a tutorial on this channel on how to get started with it. So I'm gonna open up DSPRE and I am going to select open ROM. And this is the heart gold ROM I've been working on. So I'm gonna hit open. And I've already unpacked this data before. So I'm just gonna re-unpack it and hit yes. And if you haven't done this before, it'll just automatically do it for you. And that's really all you have to do for this. So we're going to go back to our um, file here and we're going to look in the same folder that we unpacked this into. So for me, this is going to be in my versions folder. And you'll notice that there's a file, uh, there's a folder here called testing Iridia mines DSP RE contents. That's just the unpacked ROM. So we're going to select this folder. And then we're going to open that up and this is going to be the editor that allows us to insert things into the game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to add building and i'm going to find where i saved that grass map and so i know where that is it's going to be in my tutorial folder and so i'm going to go into my tutorial grass tutorial and i have this which is grass building 0000.nsbmd i'm going to hit open and you'll notice that I have my grass right here. Now that we've added the building to the game, we also need to add it to the specific area data for the map we're going to be using. So this is where DSP RE comes into play. For me, I'm going to be using White Forest. Uh, I've ported the Gen 5 White Forest into Gen 4, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go and just hit open events after I search it up, and I'll show you what I wanna do. So this is White Forest here. And you'll notice I want some grass in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the header editor, which I was already in, and I'm going to look for open area data. Now, every map already has area data associated with it. Mine is 136, which is custom made. So I'm going to hit open area data, and you're going to need to look at two things. There's the maps textures and there's the buildings textures. We want the building textures. This tells us this is in texture pack 117. So keep that number in mind. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the building tile set editor and we're going to look for that same tile set. So we're going to go to building tile set 117 and this has all of the different things that I have in White Forest, like a tree, 
uh, super big tree, so I know I'm in the right spot. I'm gonna go to add building, and then I'm gonna scroll down to this grass right here, and I am going to just hit OK. So this adds the building to the texture pack, and then I'm gonna wanna hit add textures and palettes to NSBTX. Uh, in my case, I already have them in there because I've done this before. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is hit save all, and that's great. All right, so now what we're going to want to do to use these changes in our ROM is go back into DSPRE and click on header, header editor and then click on unpack building darks. So this basically makes your changes appear in DSPRE that you made in the other application. And this allows these two applications to talk to each other. So I'm gonna hit yes, I want to unpack these and it should just take a second. And now what we're gonna wanna do is go to the maps associated with this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to open matrix and this is going to show me where my uh, maps are. And so for me, I made my little white forest over here. Uh, if it's some other map, you'll just have to find it. Uh, and I'm gonna open up the one that corresponds to the location where I want to insert the grass. If it's your first time doing this, it'll take a second to unpack it. And this is the area that I want to insert my grass into. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the buildings right here. I'm going to click add building. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down to my grass building right here. And you will notice there it is. And now uh, if we want to move it around, all we need to do is just click these buttons here. You can't drag it around. You have to use these uh, uh, up and down arrows or you can just type it in. So if I want it to move it to the right, it's positive X. So I can move it around like this. Negative X is to the left. And then Z is flipped, so if I hit up, it goes down. If I hit down, it goes up. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to put this grass uh, right over here. So it's a little bit out of the way, but not in anyone's face. I'm just going to hit save this map bin, hit OK. And then I'm going to hit save ROM. And I'm going to just save it as testing Iridia Mines. And uh, then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to hit save and let's see what this looks like in game. All right, so here I am in White Forest and I'm gonna go see if this grass works. Uh, spoiler, it's not, there's one more thing we have to do. And so if you notice, if we run on it, it's it's there, texture. Uh, you can see the grass, but it's not gonna activate a battle. So let's go back and see what we need to change to make this work. So there's one more thing we need to add and that is the move permissions. So the move permissions tell us what the game should do when we step on a certain tile. And what we're gonna wanna do is click on type and then we're gonna go to the tall grass wild and you're just going to paint right over this grass, hit save and then save your ROM once again. And now we should be able to get our encounter that we want. So we're back and this is the grass that we just added and now when you walk over it you'll notice that it moves a little bit and there's this cute little animation that happens that means you did the tile permission correct and we're going to get our encounter. For me it's just going to be a C dot, and uh, that's about all there is to it. So the idea here is very simple. You make a building out of some grass, you insert it into the map, and you change the tile permission. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if this is helpful to you, please subscribe. I'm really trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers, and I am so close, so any help with that would be appreciated. Um, I'm going to be doing more tutorials in the future on this type of stuff, so let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, and I'll try to help you out. It's been Sassiata. See you in the next video.